Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I'm back with a new nail tutorial and today I'll be showing you how I created this pretty lilac and gold Chanel nail art design. I actually did this on my friend Zen's nails using poly gel for the extension with gel polish on top for the design. You can see how I transformed her nails from this to this. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to start by applying some cuticle remover to help soften up any dead keratin on her nail plate. And then I'll gently push the cuticles back. Next, I'll carefully cut away any excess cuticle. Zen doesn't actually have much, so I don't have to nip away too much. Moving on, I'm going to remove the shine off her nail plate with my buffer. I'm doing this very gently. This will roughen up the surface, allowing for better adhesion of the poly gel extension. I'm going to wipe the surface of the nails with alcohol to remove any oil and moisture. Then go in with a base gel from Marcart. I'm painting a thin layer of this and curing it for 60 seconds under the lamp. For the extensions, I'll be using these poly gel colors. They're all from Marcart. Let me do a quick swatch so you can see what each color looks like. To build the extensions, I'm using forms today. And these ones I got from AliExpress. I'll be cutting and customizing each form to fit under Zen's free edge. First, I'm using this shimmery light pink poly gel and I'm popping a small blob of that on her nail. Then I'll blend and shape the product with my brush that's dipped in alcohol. This will prevent the product sticking to my brush as poly gel can be very sticky. For the shape, I'm going for a coffin shape, but it's looking a little square at the moment, which is fine because I'm going to file and reshape the nail afterwards. I just want a rough shape there though. Now, because I'm doing a pretty long set today, I found it easier to build up the extension in layers. So I'll flash cure the poly gel and then add more on top to get a good shape. Next, I'm switching to a slightly transparent pinky nude poly gel and I'm using this one to build up the next nail. I actually found that this poly gel was smoother and easier to work with formula wise. I think because it didn't have those shimmer glittery particles, so it made it easier to work with. Once I was done with the poly gel extensions and they were all cured, I can go in and remove the forms. Then I'll give the nails a good wipe with alcohol to remove the sticky residue. 
and I can start filing and reshaping the extensions. I realized some of the nails didn't have enough structure, meaning they were a little bit thin, so I went back in and added more poly gel on top. Now I can start working on the nail art. I'm kind of tossing up between these two shades from Jin B, a pink or a lilac. I ended up going with the lilac. So I'm gonna paint this color in like random streaks on the nail. Then use a clean brush dipped in alcohol to blend one side, which will help create those marble-like veins or lines. I'm gonna flash cure that and repeat. Then I'll do the same with this white gel color. Next, I'll go in with my liner brush to create more thin white lines, just to create a little bit more detail. The trick is to make them random and like shake your hand a little bit as you draw them because you don't want them too curved or straight. You want them super random and you can always use a clean brush to shift and move around the lines. For the index finger, I'm going to use white gel to paint on the little Chanel ribbon. So I'm just using a liner brush for this and just slowly building that thickness of the line up. Once that's cured, I can stick on the Chanel sticker and it fits perfectly. Yay! From memory, I believe I found these stickers on AliExpress as well. Guys, just jump on AliExpress if you're looking for like nail jewelry or stickers, they have a lot on there. Now for the stones. I'm gonna pick out all the stones that I like first to see which ones will go with my design and then I'll just slowly narrow it down from there. Here's what I've picked out so far. I don't think I'll be using all of it, but that's just a gist of the color range that I'm going for. To secure big stones and charms, I like using clear poly gel. I find it easier to work with and it's pretty secure once it's cured. For the ring finger, I'm attaching this Chanel charm. It's so pretty. For chains and smaller jewelry, I like using this thick, crazy top gel. You guys have seen me use it before. Back to the marble nail, I'm painting on a layer of base gel which is going to leave a tacky layer on the surface of the nail and I'm going to use that stickiness to add on some gold foil on top just so it ties in with the gold elements from the other nails. For the pinky, I'm keeping it simple with this lilac glitter gel. Moving on to the thumb. I'm going to embellish it with stones and try to create a interesting design. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to just paint around each of the stones and charms with the clear gel just to make sure it's all secure. And then I can finish each nail off with top coat.
Here's the finished design. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love this set. It's girly, it's fancy and very bougie. That's it to this video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads and I shall speak to you all next time. Bye my loves. Ba -dum -bum. Do -do -do -do.